name of friends. Marty Quir here from Marty's Garden on YouTube. Yep, it's another worm farming video and it's a 2.0 hack. Yes, we're going back to the old cardboard worm blanket. Well, actually the egg carton worm blanket, but we're going to look at both types of cardboard and talk about those to do some comparisons because they're both really good and not everyone can get egg cartons, right? But I feel it's just working absolutely, just absolutely brilliant. And what I've done is I've sort of upgraded from the last version from this video to make it better. Like I'm turning into this mad scientist worm farmer now. I never thought I'd really get into it because I've always been really the process. Yep, got to farm the worms, got to get the good, <laughs> get the good bacteria, get the good fungi, make the awesome casting and grow the most amazing plants ever. Well, I sort of feel like I've achieved that quite a lot. And, you know, like, even though I'm getting better at that still, I just feel like the worm farming side of me is just really taking over. And so what I've done is I've made a few changes to this blanket. And now, if you look at the at the worm farms, right, we've got two worm farms lined up, stacked up, the experimental ones. One's got the cured cardboard in it, and the other's just got the old compost in it. Both side by side, two weeks apart, pretty much, in age. And yeah, running tests and trials in both of them. Now the cured one's doing really good. The other one needs more worms put into it, the compost farm. So yeah, we'll get some more worms in there and get that rolling uh, as well. But what I've done in the second one, which just got the compost in it, is I've put the egg cart and cardboards sort of like in layers, in stacks uh, into there. And also in the experimental one, what we're running with the cardboard at the moment, which has got the cured cardboard, you can see that I poured on top the actual liquid that's fallen through, like people like to call it worm tea or leachate, and I've let it sit inside the actual little bit of cardboard and that sort of like soaks through and grabs all that bacteria that soaks through and moves that into the cardboard and helps that cardboard break down more and keeps the beneficial bacteria in the worm farm, as long as it hasn't gone anaerobic. And then what happens is it just helps that whole breaking down process. Well, what I've been doing is I've been working on ways to improve water structure into the worms because I find that rainwater just works the absolute best. So working on ways to sort of like improve the water structure going into the worm farms. So by actually pouring it into the, worm, the cartons on top and letting it sit in the top and it just soak through slowly, that sort of sort of filtrating, so if there's anything left, any nasties left in there from the tap, um, yeah, that's sort of like going through, leaching through. But what I do is I've also got like a bucket that sits on the table and that sits there for 24 hours. It warms up in the sun and then I get it at room temperature or sun temperature next to the worm farm and then put that in the worm farm because it's coming into winter now. And uh, yeah, they don't like the cold, especially those Africans. So they just, oh man, oh, they the big jumper, you know, like, oh, they just curl up in this little ball, you know. And uh, yeah, and you see the sun come out and they're back out and action into action again. So I try not to shock them too much with any really morning cold water to be like going for a little chilly swim or something, freezing their little worm skinnies off. So yeah, I do that. And uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Now, what I've also been doing, if you notice, when I'm talking about in you know, other videos you've been following along the vlogs, is I started this off originally in the hungry bin, right? And so that was where I first shown you this first type of egg carton cardboard matting for like a, yeah, just, you know, like a cover, a blanket. And it works so well that it just blew me out. I thought I could just make this even better, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm stacking it up even higher now, thicker, and you know, six stacks high, and just watering it on top. And then I'm putting the food underneath, so like it's quite thick. And then underneath I'm feeding in the center, and all I do is I just peel it back, and you can feel the temperature down in there. It's perfect, it's nice and dark, there's a lot of air going through because um, you know, like the layers of the egg cartons, there's space in between, so it must create some type of thermal uh, thing, like a wetsuit or something like that. And yeah, they just love it. They're feeding under there like no tomorrow. They do go in there and go gnarly in there anyway, but it's just like, hey, I'm making this even better. I'm improving it. And once it sort of breaks down a bit, 
that blanket, you just put another one on top and mix it through. Now, if you haven't got enough work, uh, cartons, you could save them up for quite a while or ask them like at the local cafe like I do. You'd be surprised how many you get like in a week if you're picking up the coffee grounds and things like that or just store some up or just get some cardboard and just make start making some layers and just do like a thinner version of the egg carton one. I think you'd find that that would work quite well. Maybe not as good but wouldn't be too far off. So Pretty excited about that. Now, if you've used that system that I taught you uh, a few months ago to do with the 1.0 version, let me know in the comments box down below how it's going for you. And if you're gonna consider moving into the 2.0 version of going a bit thicker and then start putting that sort of nutrient, that leachate that goes through the worm tea uh, on top and start letting that soak back through and create a little feeding station underneath. Let me know how that goes too. Be really stoked to hear from you how that's going. Now, before you go, I've got another video coming up for you. Yep, it's all about saving money. We visit a local landscaper so you can save money on your home farms and take it to the next level. It's gonna be really cool. You're gonna learn a lot from there. And yeah, I think it's like, let's step things up a little bit. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening. We'll see you at the next video where we visit a landscaper and it's going to be cool. See you next one real soon. Happy gardening and worm farming. Bye for now.